Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're having another episode of The Parts Bin. And today we're talking about some real budget-friendly valve train upgrades. So what you see here before me is the very common, very well-known Cummins 60-pound valve spring. The 60-pound valve spring is probably the best, you know, bang for the buck valve spring out there. They're, they're readily available and they're not very expensive. A good set, it's around 150 bucks for a whole set of springs. There's some cheap uh, eBay knockoffs that are not quite as good, but you can get even cheaper than that if you want. But, so this is a, a very good valve spring. The main problem with this is this valve spring does not come with new locks and retainers. You reuse the factory hardware. This was designed from Cummins to be used on the exhaust side only for applications using an exhaust brake. That's the origination of this spring. So it, they come with, you just reuse your stock hardware. So this is your lock, and you'll notice these are just tiny little things. This holds the retainer on the spring. This is just a very little lock. And they work great for their intended application, which is a low RPM you know, stock truck. Uh, but the springs are actually pretty awesome. People have made a lot of power and good RPM with these springs. The problem, like I said, is these break. What happens is, is these little tiny uh, locks will start to actually pull through this thing. I mean, you actually start getting more and more and more, it will pull through and it'll just wreck them. So if you're gonna do any, R, any kind of RPM with this setup, it's a problem. So generally speaking, I personally don't like to take a 60 pound spring with the stock locks and retainers much over 3200 RPM. Uh, the internet wisdom says 3800 RPM is safe and I'm not gonna argue with that, but we have had, like Will's Junker drag truck for instance, he had this very setup early on in, his, in that engine. And he didn't hardly ever see 3,800 RPM, and he started pulling these through on his setup. So for a real long-term reliable setup, I don't like to see this over 3,200 RPM, but you can push it if you like, and it may work very well for you. So the spring itself is well capable of more than 3,200 RPM. That's not the limits of the spring, it's the limit of your hardware. So there are companies out there who make a titanium lock and retainer set, and it's much, much lighter. It's really, really good, actually. I actually ran them a long time ago and I had no issues with it. Uh, the main problem that I have with it is there's a lot of real good springs available on the market today that weren't available a long time ago. So that re lock and retainer set costs, I think today, around $350. So by the time you buy the $350 hardware set plus your $150 spring, you're $500 into a set of springs. And we offer a way better spring for a 550. The, the conical valve spring is night and day better than this spring. This is budget friendly and awesome but it's nowhere near the capacity or capability of a good modern valve spring. So for me, it just makes this spring not, no longer good in a, in a powerful application because it's too expensive and there's much better options that are pretty much the same price point. So it, it did bother us though that there was a very capable spring that's very good for guys up to 700, 750 horsepower. This spring will handle you, but why do that when you get a much better spring? So we designed our own set of, this is of retainers and locks. This is actually tool steel. This is not as light as the titanium stuff, but it's way cheaper. It's much, much lighter than the stock stuff. The stock stuff weighs in about 40 grams for a set of this. This comes in about 30 grams and is way strong. In, additional, in addition to the tool steel material, we use a 10 degree lock. So it's a much steeper angle uh, compared to the seven degree locks on the, the factory hardware stuff. And so in addition to being stronger, it's actually harder to pull through because of the angles. This is a way, a way stronger, much better upgrade for your uh, valve springs. In addition to that, we wanted, if you're gonna go to the expense of doing something, we wanted to make this spring better. So actually what happens when you put this on with this, with our little lock, it'll compress the spring a little bit more. It's gonna, not gonna extend all the way up. And so we were actually increase the seat pressure. So when you saw this setup, you have actually more seat pressure than you do with a typical 60 pound spring. And we wanted to do that because we figured anybody who's wanting to do you know, a little bit more RPM would like that little cushion, a little bit more seat pressure. So we kind of offer this, we kind of recommend this spring up to about 4,200 RPM with our set. Now, people have taken the spring higher than that and you very well may be able to as well. But for me, if I'm going over 4,200 RPM, if I have a bill that I want to work over 4,200 RPM, that bill's big enough, I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on some springs. So this tool steel lock and retainer setup retails for $200. When you add that to a $150 spring, you're now $350 into a set of springs 
that's really reliable and actually pretty high performance. So 4,200 RPM and below, this guy will handle it no problem. You could take this up to, I mean, that's, enough, that's enough RPM for 750 horsepower, 800 horsepower. So really, it's a budget-friendly option. And you know, that's $200 cheaper than a set of conical valve springs. Now, the conicals are much better, but they just aren't needed for a lot of guys. So we wanted to offer a good option for the budget-minded people who don't really need the 1,000 horsepower, 5,000 RPM capability. So anyway, we are super excited here to be able to offer this spring at a real affordable price to the people who are not looking to make crazy power. If you need one of these, give us a call. They're on the website. Uh, I actually have a link to these in the description below this video. So if you want to check them out, go there. Uh, anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out with us here in the parts bin. We'll see you next time.